Hi guys, it's Krista from Playing With A Purpose. Today I'm gonna to share with you some of the things that we did for our Christmas tree week. Some of my favorite books to read to the children this week were A Porcupine in a Pine Tree, Merry Christmas Mouse, 10 Trim the Treeers, And this one, I just love looking at the pictures and talking to the children about the Christmas tree farm. This is a great book to teach the children about where Christmas trees come from and how they get planted and how people look after them all year long. My favorite book this week was Little Blue Truck's Christmas. It's a sweet little story about Little Blue Truck and he picks up five Christmas trees and delivers them to each of his friends. There are many different characters in this story and so I made a little story basket with all the different characters in the story. Little Blue Truck delivers the first tree to Goose and he delivers the second tree to Cow and the third one to Pig fourth one to goat and there's one tree left at the end so I put out five different trees a little blue truck and the animal characters in this basket so that the children have an opportunity to retell it story baskets are a fantastic way to to encourage the children to retell the story this not only helps literacy skills but it also helps with their communication it's a fun, simple way to engage the children at story time. What a blue truck. This week, a lot of the songs and stories that we're using use the number five. So I made up some different tags with the numbers on it so that the children can take turns taking one out of the basket, placing it on the tree, and then choosing the corresponding number of ornaments and place them on the tree. So for this one, they could put two bells. And if 
they were doing. This activity helps with one-to-one -one correspondence and counting so the children can place the number. This time it's a four, so we count with the children. One, two, three, four. So it's super cute. The children have loved decorating and undecorating the tree, so this is a very popular activity this week. Another simple activity was just green Play-Doh, and I gave the children a little basket with a rolling pin and Christmas tree shaped Play-Doh cutters, and I just threw in a number five as well. I wanted to keep the art projects really simple this week and I just gave the children some green paint and the children dipped cookie cutters and stamps inside and they just decorated their papers. Some of the children sprinkled some glitter on top. To incorporate some math skills this week, I gave each of the children a tree shape with numbers on it. Then I gave them some dot stickers with the corresponding numbers and they just simply matched the number to the number on the tree. For the younger children, I just put a few of the sticker dots on the tree. And for the older children, I filled it up really full. So it's a simple activity and the children enjoyed it. For a simple measuring tree activity, I just provided the children with light and dark green strips of paper. And I asked the children to make a tree from smallest to largest and they simply just glued the tree together. Then I gave them a q-tip with some white paint to make some snow around it. This gives the children an opportunity to experiment with different sizes and color. For older children, you can give them an extra challenge by giving them an AB pattern using the dark and the light green paper. And the last activity is super simple and along the same lines. I just give the children a, a tree that had been cut into three different pieces and I let the children glue their tree back together again. And once they were done gluing their tree together, I gave them some Christmas colors along with some Q-tips and some stickers and they were able to decorate their tree. So you can see on this one, so he was able to put his tree together almost perfectly. So this little guy was able to put his tree together. Notice that his tree came off his page. This is all part of the learning about how things fit on a page and how to place things to make them fit. So you can see this one was done differently. And this one is really cute. All the, all the decorations are on the bottom. So I hope you enjoyed some of these ideas. I'm Krista with Playing With A Purpose. I'll see you next time.